Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have an environmental engineering problem and in particular this is going to be uh, this is going to be a waste problem. So we're going to be finding the concentration of a waste. Uh, so here's what the question says. Uh, a waste is an initial concentrate. This is going to be a concentration problem. Uh, so here's what the question says. Uh, a waste has an initial concentration of 1200 milligrams per liter. Uh, if degradation is described as second order decay and the rate constant is 0.21 per day, what is the concentration after 20 days? And then we see our four options there in milligrams per liter. Uh, so the first step to this, uh, to this problem is to figure out what equation we can use from our manuals. And uh, I found a pretty good one. We can look on PE, bad P there. We can look in the PE uh, on page 430, or if you're looking in the FE, these are the manuals, you're going to be in page 324. So that way you can find these uh, formulas here. So uh, <clears throat> whenever you look at this, it's going to have sort of like a chart and you can filter out basically um, first order, second order, etc. Uh, and then it also gives you an option for um, for different columns. Well, so you'll notice on these pages that there is a subscript B uh, on uh, underneath the chart, and it says time conditions are for ideal batch reactions only. Um, so that's certainly something we can use to our advantage. We notice that we're wanting to find the concentration after 20 days, which is a unit of time. Uh, so we know we're going to have to use the ideal batch reaction only or reactor only. Um, so, with that said, the CMFR, uh, just an FYI, that stands for Completely Mixed Fluid Reactor, so we know that now. Um, so, let's write down the equation. Concentration over time uh, is equal to your initial concentration over 1 plus your uh, rate times uh, your time, so how many days you're you're talking here, and then you're going to multiply that by your initial uh, concentration. So knowing this formula, let's plug and chug here: 1,200 milligrams per liter, and we're going to put that over one plus our rate. Our rate is 0.21 per day. Okay. Then we need to multiply that by our time factor, which is 20 days. So we're going to go 20 days. Okay, and then we need to multiply all this by our 1200 milligrams per liter, easy enough. So your C20 is going to end up being 0 0.24 milligrams per liter. So it looks like they just kind of round it up and it's going to be B. So I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.